Good afternoon, it's uh, Monday, been out working today, or this morning. The weather outside, is, we've had very heavy rain, it's clearing, or seems to be clearing, with a lot more to follow. So, no snow yet, or anything like that, it's in March. Now, I, I've had uh, several requests to do more line and wash ink work with the black waterproof ink, they seem to be quite popular. There's this ink, just, just probably black acrylic. And I, I tip a little bit, I, I squirt a little bit onto this plastic lid. Um, and I, I'm using a stick, just a sharpened piece of wood, you know, anything, twig, lolly stick, ice lolly stick, a bit of packing case, anything, just four sides to a point. And, and I, I, I rough it up with a bit of uh, sand, sandpaper uh, just to take the, the ink. Being, being a critic, it dries quite hard. So I just, just give it a nice, nice rough, rough up. And it also brings the, a bit of nap up on the, uh, on the stick. It'll hold a bit of ink, it'll give a bit of a, a sort of furry, I hope furry line, rather than a very hard edge. But anyway, um, I'm going to. I'll just. I'll just make this up. I'll, I'll uh, dip the the piece of wood. It's the trees you wanted to see to, to see. So just 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 random really. Get a nice, nice line. Try not to get everything even because it'll look a bit stilted otherwise. I'm going to just come down here with a bit of, a bit of calligraphy. Just a bit of uh, the slope. Tree trunk thick at the bottom because of the weight of of the canopy of the tree that has to hold up. And we can do several of these. Don't make them all the same. This is, this is a problem with this. You think, oh, that's good. I'll do another one of those. And then they all become bit alike. Uh, just a bit of shovelry just come up here. I think what makes it look attractive at this stage is, is the contrast between the, the, the pure black and the pure white. Put this into a sort of a snow scene. Come down here. The landscape over there. More trees in the back here. We can put some ivy on some of these. Let's go up into So I'll make this, this a bit higher. I won't do any dry brush with, with this. I'll leave that for the brush because it might go terribly wrong. I don't want to use, lose the spontaneity of it. So we can put a Fence. Just hit and miss. And we'll just find what are always popular in, in paintings are five bar eight. I'd use the rigger for some of this, and this coming up here, so some trees on this side. I bought some uh, 
a couple of these. They're waterproof, not waterproof, watercolour pencils. These are dark, they're not black, very dark grey. I'm going to see, see what they do at some stage. I was looking at one of my John Blockley, not John Blockley, David uh, Bellamy books. Oh, they're fabulous watercolours. And he uses them. He wets into the wet paint, draws into the wet paint with them. Nice and thick, bearing in mind the weight of branches and but the, the, the base has to hold up so it's no could be a spindly or stingy with, with the trunks. This is just the uh, the basic tree we can do a little more with the rigor when we put paint on. So when you put a paint on it reduces the intensity obviously because you're putting darker paint on and it makes the, uh, the, the black blend in more. Yeah. Just keep going until you get fed up with that. Lovely winter trees, all there. Thank you, Glory. Do more on one side, so I'll put the gate to one side deliberately. I'll use the rigger to do some of this in a minute for the ink. It's all very uh, straightforward. You have to be careful when you do your painting that this ink is thoroughly dry, dried, blotted off with, uh, with a bit of tissue paper, toilet tissue. some lighter foliage in here. Alright, well, that'll do for that now. <coughs> Give that a bit of a dry. And with an old rigger, so I've got a cup of tea here, or a cup of fruit tea. Um, use an old one, just in case you forget to clean it out. I've got one here somewhere. Um, there it is. That's an old one. I use this for a bit of uh, masking fluid as well. But just, just tip into it. So if we can just, I just, I see just no scene. Just, just change some shape to this ground here. But you like all things, you can, a little goes a long way, you can really get carried away with this. Oops. See what I mean? Oh, we'll put some burnt sienna on that. And 
we can do something. But this is the foreground, so a bit more detail. But this is a snow scene. Okay, I'm going to do a bit over here. Ooh, this is a bit, a bit heavy. Lots of uh, space as well. I will we'll, we'll put a figure on this, I think. Let's just sketch him in. You have to make sure that your figures are in scale. Now, I'll do, I'll do the body. And put a head in after. Like that. Give me some shoulders, give me some. Some legs. Just a bit, bit sketchy. Just up there. Nothing too firm. So it's what you leave out as much as anything with watercolours or any painting. Right, give that a good clean. Leave that to dry. I will go over this with a tissue and a hair dryer. Right, that's nice and clean. clean tissue and then we'll uh, add some paint you know see, that's what you do well of because if you don't if you don't block this you'll find that it'll, it'll spread like water all over the painting Now I'll give it a bit of a blow with this. Hopefully that will do. Uh, I'll reclip the base of my I'll paint this as a, as a bit of a bright wintry day, just to cheer us up. Remember, this isn't a masterpiece. This is a demonstration of how to how to let yourself loose with a bit of stick and a bit of a uh, bit of ink. So I'll wet the paper all over and hope that the paint, the uh, acrylic ink, is, is nice. Look, see, there's a bit there that's not quite. And if you're not careful, it'll it'll stain the paper where you don't want it. That's that, that's that, that's that, that's that. Right, let's put in some nice burnt, oh no, let's do some burnt sienna in the sky. I'm just going to just clean, clean it off. Good warm colour. 
exactly the same on the landscape. I'm going to put a bit of blue. Just let it all run together. And then we can put it lower down, we can put in a bit of light red and ultramarine with some clouds coming across. Okay, that'll do. And we can put a bit of blue in there. Yeah, the snow is really reflecting what's what's above it. So that that's that's fine. Now, if someone put some shadows on here. Got a bit wet there. I'm going to reclip it now. Now it's uh, expanded a little bit, or oh, more than a little bit. And I'll dry it off. Put in. I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll use my hake. I'll, I'm going to put in some bit of distance on there. And then a bit of uh, lemon yellow and sienna. Just in there. No, I should have left that at night, shouldn't I? Because that snow covers this. Right. Think again. Right, now we, we need some... Uh, some winter foliage. So I'll just... This um, Fabriano, that's what I'm using, it doesn't dry brush very easily, it doesn't, it's very slick. Lovely paper for wetting wet, but, you, but all these papers have their, their limits. By putting blue, a bit of alizarin behind here, it makes it look as if there's something behind. There's some, there's some blue behind, uh, just a, more trees behind these, these trees here. When that dries, I'll put in some more, some more foliage, put some heavy, some greens. But we want some shadow now. So light red. This is in the shadow. Okay. So here. We've got some nice dark shadows behind. So assuming the light's coming from here, coming forward. So we'll just put in shadow behind these things. I said I'll put some sienna on there, burnt sienna. Oh just a bit of foliage. 
and then we'll mix a bit of green, a bit of uh, sienna, your lemon yellow, Payne's grey. So you're a nice green. in here just to show ivy some evergreen not too much that's not quite dry Showing through. Okay, dry. to the dark green, burnt umber, Payne's grey, lemon yellow, and we'll put in some of this here. See now the, the black is losing its intensity with all this. Okay, that, that'll do it. I don't want to overdo it, we have overdone it, but now with my new rigger, I'll just put in some nice, nice bit of red over here, over here. Now he's got his winter clothes on. So have some footprints in the snow. The shadow. Uh, right, that's that's about all I'm really want to do on that. Now we can just put a few flicks and flourishes in. In this. Just a dark colour. Just a... Okay, got a signature. Not that it's ever going to see the light of day. I have. Um, framed a couple of the better ones for an exhibition. Oh, I need to do some. Some stuff in here, don't I? Some put some twigs. Put some meat on the bones. Got hair sticking all through my paint. Just some, it's a very roughly painted twigs. It's nothing of any great consequence. Just, just put them in. The more I put in, the, the the less intense the black seems to be now. I might have killed a lot of the light. Mm. 
Yeah. Some would like it. Just a mass of tangled trees. Tangled branches, I say. Remember, a lot of the trees are actually the trunks, twigs are green, greeny grey rather than black. But these are in silhouette. And <sighs> right, there we are. I'll put it in a mount. And we can see what we've done. So there we are, a demonstration, very quickly, wet in wet, shadows coming from these trees, shadow in the landscape, I've, I've probably overdone it, but it's a demonstration in, um, in line and wash. I've shown you how I used the stick and I've actually done the drawing for you. <coughs> it's very rough, but you can just have fun, just make things up. Put fences in, five bar gates, a figure leading into the picture. Always, uh, I always tend to put the figure going away from me, into the landscape, rather than coming out of it. He's going in, he's going into it. Um, okay, any questions, you can, you can um, leave a comment on, on the, uh, the video. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Let's have a little wander around it. No, the figure, very roughly, you saw how I did that. Just with an almost dry rigor. And then come down to the foliage. Just some bushy, scrubby bushes. Now the painting is not quite as bright and luminous as it appears to be on screen. It's because of the computer. It's, let's move that around a bit. So that's straight. But I th if, if, that, if it was as good as it looks on the screen, I'd be more than happy. But maybe it is. Maybe I'm being very self-critical. But I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.